Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you something so big it barely fits in the studio. Here it is. Whoa! Whoa! A Tron machine! How cool is Complete that? Complete with figures inside. Check it out so I want to make sure you can see there's quarter slots down there and then at the top of the machine it barely fits in the studio. That is so cool! Yeah, it looks just like the Tron arcade um, console yes. from back in the day. And we want to say a great big thank you to... Diamond Select! For sending this to us for free to share with you today. So, as you can see, it comes with three um, figures inside. And it also does some other really cool things. Yes. Um, so, John's going to point out the details on the front first. And we'll turn it around, and then we'll turn it on and show you what it does. Okay. So... So, of course, yeah, I mean, it looks just like the, so you have the, the player one, the player two button, the cool Tron, you know, joystick controller that the, uh, that the game console had. Yeah, that it was like a the, translucent uh, blue. Yeah. Yep. And, um, of course, all of the, the details from the arcade console. And then... Ooh, look at that. The on the cool side. The details from, on the side. And then in the back... Ooh, that's cool. <clears throat> and it has the you know, exclusive packaging. Um, inspired by the act actual vintage 1980s Tron arcade machine. So that's really cool. credits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's figures designed by Yuri Ming. Sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. Packaging designed by David Forrest. Um, Kinetic Underground. Very cool. Yeah, that's one thing or two things. Two people or... Yeah. But, um, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, I mean, this is probably like the coolest packaging I've oh, seen yeah. um, any kind of figure come in. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is this would be like a really cool um, display. Yeah, this is this is one of those um, retro games, you know, like your um, Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, all the, the classics. I remember um, being in the... You know, when there were arcades, when you go in and you just put in a quarter. Yeah. And watching my cousin play this game over and over again. Oh, yeah. I remember all the different stages, the different um, ones you had to do to complete it. And um, it definitely was interesting. Very cool game to even watch. And now, let's see what the box does. <laughs> so, yeah, if you look on the back, I don't know if you can see, there is this little door that tapes open. So, it's got batteries and it has a on off and a try me so I've already turned it on so it'll work so if we turn it back around and as instructions on the front it says press player one button to activate the black light effect press a or press again to turn off and then press player two button to activate the flashing lights press again to turn off so these are these figures are just like um, some previously released figures, but they have um, special paint so that they reflect black light. So we can. We're gonna go ahead and um, turn off studio turn lighting. Off the studio <clears throat> lights and push the player one. Ooh. And like even like the the Tron console. Oh, that's right. I need to show that. Whoa! Look like at that. This lights up, and then you get like the black light in there, so it lights up um, the accents on the figures um, and the identity disc that Tron is holding. Um, it is really cool. So Let me see if we can hit one more light. Yeah, so All right, that there just you looks go. really, really cool. Very, um, very cool. So again, like, uh, kudos to the guys who designed the packaging on this because and it just makes it even cooler. The black light even reflects off of the uh, the joystick, or the jo what did you call this one? Yeah. The joystick. Um, it's so, so it makes the blue kind of glow. I don't know if you can see it in that way. Turn that off and you hit the player two button. You can, you can tell you have like the um, you, know, you still have the black light coming on, but it also does those flashing lights, so it does like the uh, different alternating effects. Whoa, so, very cool! That is just really awesome. That is a conversation piece for sure. Oh, yes, okay, because uh, for collective purposes, we're gonna leave these three guys in the box. Yeah, I just it would just kill me to, to destroy <laughs> the packaging on this, so. So um, we actually have the set of figures that were released previously, so we're going to show off the articulation and everything on the figures on those rather than tear up the packaging to show these off. So, so here is Sark, 
Oh. He is the villain. Is it still? There we go. Then you can take a look at him. Oh, look at that. Villainous face. Yeah, and they really have great facial sculpts. That just looks just like David Warner. So. And he's got the orange detail. Very cool. <clears throat> and the open hands. His hands are slightly different um, poses there. The fingers are a little bit more spread on that one. And... All right, and then here is Flynn. Now the only difference is um, this is Infiltrator Flynn, so he's in like the the, the enemy coloring. The one that comes with this set is actually the blue after he meets Tron, and his uniform changes. And they color. do have the removable discs. Yes, so they can hold as well in this hand uh, if you want them to. So and then it goes right back in, pegs right back in to the back of them, so you don't lose it. So, all right. All right, and then finally, Tron. So there he is with the blue detailing. Look at all the digital uh, details on there. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, this movie was just like landmark when it came out. It was so, it just seemed like it was so far ahead of its time. Um, it was just really cool. I mean, it still is. Yeah. All right, so you want to show off the articulation on one of them? Yeah, so they're going to have the same. the same same points of articulation, so we'll just show it off with Tron. So he will have uh, neck articulation. He'll have uh, the shoulder articulation, so it'll rotate and go up. The, um, the shoulder piece will limit it some, but it still does have good um, articulation. He has the, the bicep swivel, the double elbow. And the dual wrist, so it will rotate as well as um, pivoting. Okay, so then he has um, the waist articulation. So he's got a, two points in the torso, one in the waist, and then one mid-torso. He's got hip articulation. He's got the upper thigh, the double knee, and then, of course, the ankle. And the ankle will roll as well as pivot so really cool figures um in this set by diamond select so awesome all right so we want to say another great big thank you to diamond select for sending this to us for free to share with you today how cool is this yes. i have to say it is one of my favorite displays by far so thank you so much for watching as always come back and see us like subscribe and we will see you next time